James, here's a little uh, follow-up video of the uh, first one I made. Uh, now I put you uh, side by side with Chaz, just to hopefully you can you know visualize a couple of things we're talking about better by seeing what he's doing. Um, you're coming through this little uh, kind of roll roller, nice little terrain on uh, ego there, but you know he's really not. I don't think you're sure of yourself here. Come over this thing, kind of looks like some flat skis and kind of tentative. Weight on the inside ski. Chaz comes in, just rolls him up and just gonna stand on it. And you know, so you don't you don't really have anywhere near the angles he does. You can see the little uh, scissoring of the skis and thus the big spray, because came over without any pressure and kind of the big spray and kind of skidding a bit below the roll. Now he did fall to the inside, so his wasn't perfect either, but he really committed above it and tried to like send it over it. Yours was a little, a uh, little conservative. Angles, we need, we need more angles. Uh, that is for sure. You can, you know, you can come in here and you can just kind of see, you know, what we're talking about. So we got to get more comfortable with our feet off underneath us. Um, more upper and lower body separation. That's going to come from free skiing. You're not going to all of a sudden magically do it in the race course. So you got to go out and free ski, do the slopey drill. Really work on, you know, how far can we get our feet off underneath us, getting our hip down low to the ground and maintain level shoulders so we're balanced over the outside ski as Chaz is doing there. We talked about, you know, this gate here and, you know, I don't, you know, you start the turn like way too early, got no room, and came in like that, giving yourself no space. See, Chaz really doesn't start turning. You started turning right there before you got the rise line. He's going to turn yeah, right about there he starts. So he brings a little shape back, gives himself room, passes the gate with much more direction than you, obviously. You're going to have to now, you're going down the hill, chuck him sideways right there. So all your turn is here, kind of like scrubbing speed. I know this was a uh, you know tough turn right here, I guess, and going over the break over. Really had to be patient. Get outside rise line and look like you were headed that direction, and all of a sudden, just. Decided to skid the skis instead. You know, got to have confidence. I mean, look what Chaz does here. Um, you know, his skis are pointing out and away from the panel. He hasn't turned yet. Got himself way out there. Your skis are already, you know, down the hill. Actually pointing more in this direction because you skidded them. Right, so pointing the other, other way, he's going to stand on it and arc all the way back. He did have a little stumble there, you know. But he's producing these angles, dropping the hip in to the turn, which you don't really have, so. Need to have confidence, confidence in yourself. Get those feet out and stand on an outside ski. All right, Chaz will come through here. Again, intersects rise line. Ski's pointing out and away from the pole, bringing shape, allows him to bring shape back. He'll come through and here in the rise line, your skis are already got a little move here, a little skid 
You're already heading down the hill, so now you're gonna go straight, 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 almost. Jazz is gonna give himself feet more room, give his body room at the panel, or give himself room, so it allows for a strong angulated position at the panel. And obviously yours is, you know, kind of like standing up, not much angles there. So I thought it was helped us to see what we're talking about. Um, it's going to help. It's going to work first in free skiing. And then we can bring it to the race course.